Welcome back. Immigration reform, a top issue on the campaign trail as Republican frontrunner Donald Trump introduces his tough plan to curb the flow of illegal Mexican immigrants coming into the United States. Now, a new report revealing a staggering number of illegal immigrants have been charged with murder after being released from jail. Joining me right now is Arizona sheriff and Trump supporter Joe Arpaio. Joe, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Well, you are on the front lines, obviously, and your teams are on the front lines, and you're seeing what's going and coming uh, through, through the border. What's your take on this most recent report? These people were in jail, they were released from jail, and then they were convicted of murder. Well, you know, uh, that's been out for a while, but I have more shocking uh, statistics that nobody will talk about except Neil Cavuto. I, he did bring it out. Tell but us here about are it. my statistics. I'll tell you what it is. You know, I also run the jails. We average about 9,000 people in the jails uh, every day. Uh, and every month I take statistics of those in our jails charged with all different crimes, but here in this country illegally, 8,600 have been turned over to ICE for deportation, and over 3,000 keep coming back to the same jails that I run. Now think of that. They keep coming back. One guy came back 20 times. So what's going on? Are they going to the border and keep hopping the fence or keep coming across? Or they are, are they let out on the streets? of Maricopa County. Well, I think what do you think is happening? Out. I mean, what, how is that possible that they were, that, that they're coming back to your jails? Good question. I've written to the Homeland Security Secretary, to other officials. I get bureaucratic responses. I never get an answer, but I got the facts. You're talking about 100. That's bad. But what about just in my jails, 39% keep coming back to the same jail, and they're charged with many different crimes. So it's very uh, disgusting. Something has to be done about this illegal immigration problem. Well, what's the answer, though, Sheriff? I mean, you know, obviously Donald Trump's talking about this wall uh, that he's going to build. Is that going to be enough? Is that is that going to be the solution, or is there something else? I mean, this is clearly the dividing issue right now within this country. It's very simple. You deport them. You get, you get them out of our country. Mm. Why are they roaming the streets and keep coming back? They should be back in the country that they uh, came from illegally. So that's very simple. You deport them, and you try to, to uh, do something at the border. Yeah, but Dagan, you know, is, it, is it that simple, though? I mean, just to deport 11 million people? I mean, this is the whole argument that we're having right now. How, how can you deport all the illegals in this country right now? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we did pretty good, uh, just my office. I think that they accused me of 100,000 people leaving uh, because of our crackdown uh, during the past years. Uh, but it's very simple. You deport them, uh, and uh, when you come across those here uh, committing other crimes, you uh, lock them up yep. and send them back where they came from. And that can be done. So why should we surrender a greatest country in the world? We can't take care of this problem. So I support Trump. And by the way, if you look at all the politicians, here's what they say. We must secure the border. Then they say first. And then we'll look at the internal problem. Hmm. No, what about talking about those here illegally already? Why say secure the border first? You know the border will never be completely secured. I've been on both sides of that border as right. a top uh, official. So you can't surrender. I like what Trump says. Uh, I had uh, Bernie Sanders' wife uh, in my tent city last night, and she learned something about she didn't like the uh, tents. <laughs> Uh, our husband is here today in Phoenix. I'm sure he'll badmouth me, but that's okay. Mm. In terms of Donald Trump, Sheriff, Arizona, a critical, later on, a winner-take-all state. Can Trump win it? Well, I'm, well, I'm sure he's going to win it. Uh, he did his first rally here seven uh, months ago. I uh, introduced him at four or five rallies uh, uh, you know, you talk about all this heat he's taken uh, because of what happened in Chicago, and he made some comments. Uh, he, he's a big police supporter. He, he worries about police uh, being insulted when you have to remove some of these uh, demonstrators, whatever you want to call them. 
So, and he speaks out. He does not program. So, because he may say some things, and I'm going to tell you one thing that makes me very angry. Mm -hmm. You have the former president of Mexico making vicious, vicious comments about Trump. Where is everybody? Where is our country? How come no one is speaking out defending a presidential candidate, yet they, they nitpick on him making a few words uh, on these demonstrators? So where is everybody? Mm. So you can see the double standard around uh, what's going on in this campaign. Sheriff, thank you very much for your thoughts on this very important subject. We appreciate you weighing in. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. Sheriff Joe Arpaio there.